Hey guys, this is Darren Benton again with Performance Motor Coaches. We're back in the office today. We're going to do a little bit something different than we normally do. We're going to start in here. Buddy wanted to be in the video, but he's a little camera shy, but he's getting a little bit better. Uh, we're going to go out and jump in a coach. We're going to drive to a local park. It's a madhouse around here today, so we wanted to shoot the video here, but just was a little bit too much going on. We've got a nice little back area. Uh, that we could have done it but this coach is pretty unique on its color we started this video set last week at the factory it's here it's all blacked out ready to go buddy buddy's buddy's a little uncomfortable but anyway uh let's go out and take a look at it put buddy down make sure he didn't bite anybody we'll go out and take a look at the coach really quickly we'll head over towards the park keep buddy from wa rolling out walking out so pretty unique color here. This customer uh, matches some of his toys. So he came up with the color. This coach was in production and then sold uh, while it was in production. Uh, we did the wheels here. We did some of the black accessories on the exterior. Uh, we still have to paint a few pieces, but uh, was headed back to Indiana. Just wanted to do a quick video before we roll out. We'll jump in, do a little test drive. I think everything turned out really cool. Unit's running right now, so it'll be a little loud, but black wheels, black center caps, the black uh, mirror caps. It's amazing how easy all this stuff is to change. Uh, we did a, a diamond shield on the front as well, so good looking unit. really stands out. Uh, very unique. Uh, should be the only color like that out there on the market. Let's go ahead and jump in. I'll let you in, then I'll jump in on the other side. Blacked out the steps as well. Cascadia 126, which is the new body style, the longer hood. Jump in it, put it in reverse. She's a long girl, so we'll get it headed out of the gate. Might have to do another little point turn over here. We got a sign. I think we're going to make it. We better not make it. So on the new body styles, all of the uh, transmission selectors are all the same, even on the Allison. This is the DT transmission. So I can pull this off of my microphone because I think it's holding it. We've done a few drive-alongs, but kind of the idea was just something just a little bit different. If you want to just kind of span out the gate as we head out the gate right along a pretty major highway here in front of the dealership all concrete in but even though you know we we service people in this area most of our customers are from a greater distance than the west texas or even texas region we always welcome every, anybody in for service had some few customers in the last few weeks from great distances so if you're you know headed from california to florida back and forth and want some service done on a renegade or show hauler not a problem to come in and get that taken care of if you guys want to stay the night not a problem as well we got the engine brake so it's a little engine brake up and down right here so that's off one two three engine brake has to be in the off position to activate the cruise control I'll tell you one thing that's pretty unique I've talked to a lot of people over the last few weeks that have called me while I'm driving and they they want to ask if I'm driving and always generally I am uh, and they're always always amazed at how quiet the insides of these cabs are they're really really quiet uh, you know they'll ask how fast I'm going and it's normally 75 76 78 miles an hour so we're definitely not uh, driving slow at all and so the, the cab noise on these things is really great uh, so much nicer than like your M2 cab so that is a lane departure warning you can turn it off on the dash which we generally turn those off almost all the time uh, you can skip over a lane that will give you an indication kind of gets a little bothersome in traffic but it's pretty simple just to reach down and turn that guy off 
just going to kind of whip through town here. I don't know if you can see all the way across, but small town, Wolford, Texas. Uh, we're about, uh, well, just we're five minutes from Lubbock, uh, so in which Lubbock is situated between Albuquerque and Dallas about halfway, so 350 miles either direction. Um, but we're in Wolford, Texas, just passed by the Texas uh, stop sign, the Dairy Queen. Little barbecue joint. In fact, that's like their like number five barbecue joint in the state there. So anybody comes in Wednesday through Friday, I'm sorry, Wednesday through Saturday, plan on stopping in the barbecue place there. So we'll roll up into a big parking lot uh, here in a bit and uh, we'll do a few pauses to be able to show you guys uh, walking around the coach, walking inside the coach with the slides in, and then again walking uh, inside the coach with all the slides out. But it's one of you guys to be able to see the outside out in the sun because it's definitely a really unique color combination. It turned out really cool. So uh, we'll pause for a bit and then we'll see you guys back here in a second. Okay, we're back here. We came to a little local park just a few blocks away from the shop here. Uh, got some green grass and a little bit of uh, water in the background, which is kind of not seen too often in West Texas. But I uh, wanted to get out where you could see the sunshine uh, on the side of the coach. This coach will go from a greenish color to a grayish color. Uh, it goes a lot of different uh, directions, kind of depending upon the sunlight. But I just wanted to you know, get it out in the sun to be able to show all that. And then, of course, we will jump inside and kind of see how the coach is closed up, and then we'll get it opened up as well. But i uh, really happy with the way everything turned out. Uh, kind of my signature two-bath uh, bunk bed unit with the bunk over. We sell this unit over and over and over. It really takes care of itself. It does well. People really like it. Probably has the best resale out on the market because of the bunk beds and the two full baths. So it's pretty cool to have that. And uh, we'll kind of cruise down the side of the coach real quick. Outdoor TV right here. Just a side mounted awning. Uh, very utilitarian. Does have keyless entry on it. Full tandem rear. We just changed the outers to powder coated. Everything is, uh, you know, we expect everything with black uh, accents on the exterior from show hauler. And it does have the very robust ladder on the back that's a welded steel ladder. Uh, it's rated at 250. I can guarantee you, you can go 400 plus on that ladder there. Uh, has a standard 40,000 pound hitch on the back. This is just rated at 30,000 pounds right here. This customer will be dragging his toys out to the dunes out in California, so he'll get a fair amount of use out of it. Does have a 50 amp buddy plug on the back as well. I got some extra license plates up out. That was pretty cool. We'll try to do that on all the videos from here on out. We'll come down the side of the coach. What is pretty unique, they're pretty much about the only manufacturer you'll see out there. There are two sets of grays and blacks because you have two separate baths. So that makes it really handy. A lot of people, especially you know, for this customer going out to the dunes, he needs to be able to have that extra uh, capacity for his wastewater. Uh, we didn't inspect this one with the 100 gallon water tank below the coach, but it'd be pretty simple to add it after the fact. And everything from here on out will have the additional 100 gallon water tank that's underneath. So you'll have basically 288 gallons of waste storage and then 250 gallons uh, of fresh water. This just has 150 right now. Same type deal right here. You can see the additional sets of gray and black right here for the front bath and also the uh, kitchen galley there. 12.5 Onan generator. Nothing wild and crazy in regards to the batteries here. Um, we generally kind of do that after the fact if somebody wants to upgrade batteries, so just some regular six volt golf cart batteries. A lot of our customers with these units, they get them, they start them for the weekend, run all the air conditioners, run everything, so uh, just kind of a matter of preference. Single 120 gallon fuel tank, which is what you'll see all the way across the board on any of the Cascadia 116s or the 126s. So we'll jump inside, really nice LED headlights. 
that is part of the adaptive cruise right here and some of the lane departure warning that's back up there this does not have the blind spot monitoring which i'm not a big fan of the older body style was a lot more user friendly as far as the blind spot monitoring the new body style if anything's there it just seems to be patch all, all the time so it kind of drives me crazy let's go ahead and jump inside real quick see a, the really stout robust entry door been doing that for years uh, once you have something like this it's really really t difficult to look at some of the other entry doors they to me just seem too camper ish but i mean you slam that door and you know you have something there so i'll jump inside this does have heated tile floors and it runs over our shoes out here nice open feel this is the charcoal stain on the wood uh, but with the ivory uh, upper walls and with the, I have to remember, I think this was Koala. Koala Ultra Leather, I believe, is, is, the, is the color of this. So, it's, you know, it's a really rich feel. Uh, predominantly, you know, I sell these to guys that are pretty much, you know, close to my age, uh, 46. So, um, lots of people that kind of like this more modern look. Uh, but, you know, everything can be, you know, customized. Unfortunately, you know, we're about two years out for a new build, so... You can't customize anything just real soon, but uh, always happy with the way that this color combination turns out. This is still a very usable coach. You know, if you had some kids, they could pop here, they could pop there. Um, you can still get to your refrigerator here. If you need to do some laundry driving up and down the road, you can get to all this. Kids can jump in the bunk beds if they needed and still get to this bath right here. Let me turn this rough vent off here. But still, a ton of room here. Um, I think I've only jumped in the shower once or twice driving down the highway, so that's not too common. But, uh, you know, it, everything is very, very accessible driving up and down the road. So we'll pause for a second, and we'll get all the slide outs open for you guys. Okay, here we are all open up. And you can see that there's a lot of room inside this coach. Uh, one thing that is pretty unique about this floor plan, like I said earlier, is it's a very usable coach, uh, even whenever it's closed up. Uh, I, I prefer not having a slide out in this area right here, because it just makes the coach feel so much more open driving up and down the road. You don't have this big giant piece right here sticking in the coach on this side right here. So when it comes time to look out, you know, you can look down the side here. You need to be able to look out the door here, uh, you know, the window there. You can, you know, just makes it. Uh, a lot easier to see out, makes it feel a lot more uh, roomy inside when you're driving up and down the road. So uh, to me, like I said, just my, my favorite floor plan and you really can't go wrong with this setup right here. It does have the bunk over right here. This is a 54 inch bunk over. Uh, my issue with doing like the 60s uh, is they just, they seem like a really long bill on your hat. Uh, most time you don't have two people sleeping up in there. It's only kind of one person. We do the cab cutouts on all the Cascadias. Uh, that's something that not every other dealer does, but I think it's kind of a no-brainer doing the cab cutout. It doesn't affect the bed whatsoever. We do a one-piece mattress, so we don't ever take this out or we don't ever fold it up. It will fold up, uh, but to me, it just kind of seems silly to take and pull that unit out. I'm six foot tall. I have no problem getting in and out of the cab. It just opens that up. Uh, you know, some people will opt for standard opening with uh, little sliding doors. There again, those sliding doors, they rattle like crazy driving up and down the road. So I just think, think you know, this brings a portion of the cab back inside the coach. Each one of these seats will turn around. You know, so if you have a fair amount of people in here, you could have people sitting here and those seats turn around. So it just opens up everything quite a bit. Uh, you know, you got a one piece windshield in the Cascadia. So just, um, just an extension of that. Uh, you know, a lot of people, if you're watching this video, you probably know this, but most people don't understand you know, the difference between these units and, say, a Class A. You know, you have 10 full feet of cab that you're giving up um, over in your overall coach length. So anytime you can bring a portion of this inside the coach, it makes a huge, huge difference there. So we'll kind of jump into uh, the galley area right here. All maple cabinetry. Uh, this is all what we call flat panel right here. Uh, just a little bit more modern look. Um, try to do everything with a pull-out trash can whenever we can. Do everything with uh, granite countertops. 
to me, just, you know, it's most, most of the people have granite in their home. Uh, and so just, you know, it makes them kind of feel more like at home than in an RV doing, you know, any kind of cheaper solid surface countertop there. But nice size kitchen right there. There's a three burner. Most of the units we're going to do from here on out will be a two burner and go to a 43 inch outdoor TV versus just a 32 on board here. But there again, everybody has their own preference here. You know, you can go down to a single basin sink. There's all kinds of different things that you can do, but a uh, really usable setup. 43 inch TV right here. This is a I'll swing on, so it'll turn around. This couch does fold out, uh, so you could sleep two there. And then in general, in general, the dinettes, especially if you do granite, you cannot do any kind of a convertible dinette, uh, just just due to the sheer weight of that granite countertop there. But uh, lots of storage here. You know, nice big open windows. There again, you can do lots of different things. You can eliminate cabinets, do larger windows. Uh, you can make these windows a little bit smaller, do bigger cabinets. There's all kinds of different things to be able to do out there. The Samsung refrigerator, which they're all about, uh, we, well, we round up to 18 cubic foot, which is pretty much you'll see industry wide all the way. Um, you know, we look at show haulers or renegades. This does not have the handles on. Samsung has eliminated the handles for now. We will see what Rona brings us next. Does have the full washer dryer set up. So, you know, the biggest difference, you know, you know, people say, well, what, you know, aside from construction, you know, uh, this unit versus, you know, Renegade, everything is a lot bigger in this. Uh, the coach is longer than what you get in a Renegade, but everything is bigger. The kitchen's bigger. The bathrooms are bigger. Everything is bigger. Uh, just a little bit different setup. So, um, you know, we have a pretty long list for these guys right here. Uh, because people like that additional space, because people like that fully welded steel frame. So, uh, you know, they're both great coaches. Um, everybody kind of has their own preference one way or the other, but uh, we can always deliver a Renegade a little bit faster just due to higher, uh, higher production volume. But come check out this bathroom again. I will not jump in there. But you can see there's a fair amount of room. There again, simplicity. Uh, we'll kind of revert back to the statement earlier. Uh, this just has manual flushing toilets, doesn't have the Tecma toilets, but if you jump over to the Renegade, you'll be forced to the Tecma toilets. This does have the tile showers, which uh, uh, show hauler will build the tile, tile showers for about the same price of which you can get a solid surface for, like I said, a Corian and a Renegade. So a ton of room right here. Uh, I do like to do the separate slides. So there's three total slides all the way down this coach. Uh, and the reason why they can do that is because of all the steel. Uh, you know, they won't butt these slides right, up, right next to each other, so that's the reason why we have a wall there, we have a cabinet there. So they want a little bit of division there, just for the structural integrity of the coach. But just, to me, it feels like there's a true division between this bunk room and the master. Uh, there again, I don't like to enclose this bunk bed area. You know, kind of the way I look at it is, um, you know, if, you, if your kids are here, you can put your kids to bed, and you can go back and watch your TV, or if you have guests here, you can kind of live your own life and the guests can do whatever they want up here. So I don't, personally don't like enclosing this uh, this bunk area completely, but I do like having a true division. Most of the units with the combination uh, closet and bunk bed slide, you'll have a closet or you'll have a pocket door that goes over and you'll have a big open space right here because these are basically butted up next to each other. So I just, I like this, this setup a little bit better and most people kind of feel the same way in that there's a true division. Whenever you pop open this, door right here you feel like you're in a complete separate room in my opinion without having that opening right there so come back in the master this is a uh, 66 inch wide bed which is kind of my go-to uh, this coach could be deviated slightly to try to accommodate a 72 Everything else is going to have to get a little bit smaller. So, but this is you know kind of standard, and I feel that a 66 inch wide bed is, is a pretty good uh, trade off whenever you're into an RV. 43 inch TV right here. There again, you could do a 32. These closets would get a little bit, um, you know, with the t with the TV being small, the closets would come in here, so you get a little bit more closet space. There again, most people uh, aren't taking these things out on the road and putting you know the three piece suits in a closet. So a lot of foldable items that would work good. In, it, in separate areas. So below the bed is the fresh water. This does not lift up at all. So 150 gallons below the bed there. Massive, massive vanity right there. Ton of room that's all convertible right there where you can take and run those uh, shelves however you want. 
I'll jump back into the shower here. So this setup right here is 41 inches. I believe we're 30, either 32 or 36 inches wide. So a ton of room here, a uh, ton of room inside of a motorhome shower. And there's some showers that aren't even this big in people's homes. So cool setup. There are two shower insets right here. So uh, if your partner has a lots of body washes and lots of conditioners and lots of shampoos, you got a ton of area right here. Pretty good storage back here. There again, you know, take a lot of your linens, roll them up. They kind of go here and there as well. Very easy to use, very easy to access electrical. You know, to me, that's kind of a dead space anyhow. So, you know, you might as well get your electrical in areas that you're really not gonna utilize. So kind of a no brainer there, uh, having that set up. So we'll roll back up front. Very, very clean design, nothing wild and crazy as far as, um, you know, disco lights in the ceiling. Right about a year and a half ago, they started doing this there, there again, just very, very simple. So that covers uh, your air conditioner intakes. Instead of having those traditional plastic pieces, just covers that up. You still have a filter there, uh, but it, you know, to me, it was incredibly simple design uh, that just kind of cleans up the ceiling. You don't see the plastic pieces there. Uh, this does have the Firefly Multiplex, and then so it'll have, some of these will be wired and wireless controls. There's a control underneath the bed, makes it handy, lights on, you know, master lights on, light, master lights off there. You will turn the generator on and off there. Another thing that is a little bit different, uh, they still retain the heated tile floor uh, modules right here, which is my preference. That's about the modules. You can set, you know, a, you can set a time schedule. So we're, you know, say at 6.30 in the morning, starts heating up to 85 you put your nice little toasty feet on the toasty floor and then you can turn that off later on whereas integrating that in the multiplex you got one two three four five uh, there again thermostats simplicity in mind um, separate thermostats if your firefly goes down you can still run your slides via this little guy right here you can still run regular uh, thermostats so just a little bit more simply simple more simple built coach uh, less potential for problems out there I think that pretty much about wraps it up. Uh, like I said, this coach is sold unless something drastically happens in the next week or so. But uh, look for a customer to come out from California, get it picked up, uh, show him his new coach, get him all well versed on it. Uh, I think everything is pretty much sold. Uh, we've, you know, we've got some uh, got some explorers that are coming down the pipeline, some Renegade explorers uh, that will do some uh, some really in-depth videos on there on those hopefully in about the next week or so lots of delays uh, on that product because of some awning shortages and some furniture shortages but pretty excited to do some of those those ought to be uh, little rocket ships because they're 38 uh, to 40 foot uh, they'll be the dd13 so a little bit a little bit smaller motor but always excited to have some kind of new and different to be able to play with uh, i know that a lot of people come to these channels to view and we really appreciate that uh, you know, it, it's grown our business exponentially over and over and over. We appreciate the feedback. Uh, you know, we know in general when people are have been watching the videos and we can tell immediately when and where we talk to them over the phone. So we're always great to, you know, have those conversations. Um, the people we've met at the factory, uh, they've done factory tours the last few months has been great to meet all you guys. We appreciate you taking the time to come out, uh, spend a day or two chat, kind of checking everything out. Uh, there again, we welcome anybody that new that wants to do that. Uh, you know, we've had, we, you know, we we watched the uh, the forums pretty closely, and we've seen some people that have been not so happy about some some tours, not with Show Hauler, but with Renegade. So if we can assist in that, just let us know. We'll try to get try to get together with the with the factory to try to facilitate some of those tours if we're not around. But definitely, if we're in Indiana, we we welcome you guys to come out. If you guys have some service work to be done either in Texas and want to check something out, uh, let us know. If you guys have some service work that you want some help with up in Indiana, give us a call. Let us know. We'll try to relay that you know, to those guys. Those guys are extremely busy, but uh, you know, we, we'll try to do whatever we can. But uh, said a little bit more unconventional video. Lots of different things going on in the video. So hopefully you guys could uh, maybe follow this. But uh, so. If you're watching now, we really appreciate it. it means you've watched the entire video. Uh, that means a lot. Uh, it definitely helps uh, boost, uh, you know, 
the number of videos that YouTube uh, then sends out to random people. If they, if you do a 10 minute video and they watch 20 seconds, it kind of gets pushed down to the bottom. So uh, with the amount of people that are watching right now, I really appreciate it. It helps us, it helps us grow a business. It helps people become more you know, more aware of the product too. So you know, everything everything all the way across the board, you know, definitely benefits. So uh, appreciate you guys sticking with this. Make sure you guys like, tag, and follow. Uh, make sure you guys check us out for our next video. It should be one of the explorers coming down the pipeline. Thanks.